Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna to try to tackle the question today, will this market keep dropping? Will it ever stop? Because player prices keep going down on this game. But I wanna talk about why I think that was just because of this past weekend and the supply. Again, the pack weight and the packs are giving out so much more than they ever have. We have supply on the market like we have never seen before in past FIFAs. So I wanna talk about that and how I do think since some of that supply is gonna be slowing down after this weekend, during this next week, we'll probably start to see a lot of those meta high rated cards that we bought for low prices on Friday, on Saturday, start to creep up during this week and go up in price as people continue to build teams and as there is no supply or panic about supply coming to the market. I wanna talk about what's going on this weekend because yes, a lot of people are losing coins because if you bought before Friday, of course, there was a huge drop off in price with all of these supply that came on the game with the promo packs. And even throughout the rest of the weekend, some prices continue to go down, but some of them went up, right? There's, there's examples of both all over the place on the market. I also want to talk about the content. Of course, they added Griezmann, Leon Bailey, and Delaney as ones to watch cards, the mini release um, for Team One. Those were released yesterday. Talk about that and just kind of what to expect this week, Monday, Tuesday, into this week of FIFA. Again, as we head out of the weekend with no more promo packs usually released usually on the weekends there aren't promo packs because again if you take a look at these packs here the 25k and the 35k packs that they released yesterday on sunday these are all going away right these promo packs are going to expire and i would be surprised if they return the most that i would expect for the rest of this week would be a 15k pack like maybe you know three or four or five of those if that and they might not have any more um packs other than just the the, the gold packs throughout the rest of this week. So what that means is probably less supply. We've probably seen the bulk of supply for packs being open for FIFA points being used as a part of ones to watch team one on the weekend, right? And that's where a lot of these cards, if they were getting continually sold off, that's where you saw a lot of the supply and a lot of the panic. Now, some cards have gone up, right? We're gonna take a look at a few graphs and I wanna talk about some of this stuff. But the main point again is that since this supply is gonna be dwindling, from the promo packs and from that sort of supply, you're probably gonna start to see some of these higher rated meta metas finally kind of go up in price and take off a little bit like we were expecting, right? I wanna look at a guy like Kevin De Bruyne because this is a card that has already started to go up, 180,000 coins for the 91 De Bruyne. Of course, on Friday with the big time panic at 6 p.m., his car was actually down to like 140K and he's kind of held his price decently well, right? You can see a little bit of a dip during the 6 p.m content drop time frame 6 p.m uk when content is usually released a little bit of supply coming in when people open packs same thing yesterday on sunday dropped down to the 170 range but has now kind of gone back up to 181 i think that's how it is on a lot of these high rated cards hyunmin sun was like 220k on playstation on friday when the lightning round not lightning rounds but when the promo packs were being opened uh, so you've seen that card kind of rise up in price as well. And I want to talk about two maybe anomalies, right? The Holland, the Werner, the Lukaku, maybe even the Dembele, where some of these cards have actually just gone down a lot in price. I think there was a little bit of over-investing in some of these cards, although they were very, very popular. I mean, Lukaku was 70,000 coins on PlayStation and 80,000 coins on Xbox, and his price has cut in half. I mean, even on Saturday, he was still 45,000 coins. His price continues to drop over here on PlayStation. Now, I'm not saying these cards won't rebound at all, but I'm saying these cards have dropped down the most out of the rest of the bunch, especially out of the higher tier cards. You know, if you take a look at, we looked at Sun and De Bruyne, who are up from where they were on Friday with the mass amount of supply. And those cards, I think the Holland, Werner, and Lukaku are down because of that over investment. Even Dembele a little bit as, as well. People are buying up those cards. They were very, very popular. And now they're selling them off because they're very scared and just worried about the supply. So that is, again, the big thing that we're talking about is just that supply. And since it is probably dwindling this week, I do expect to see some more of these cards to actually start to rise. Because if you think about it as well, a lot of casuals that just got on the game this weekend, it is 
cheaper than ever to make a pretty OP team, right? You take a look at De Bruyne, who's like 180K. Last year, he was like 400,000 coins, 300,000 coins. Take a look at, um, you know, some of these other high tier meta cards like Rashford is 140K. That's comparable to his price last year, but some of the higher tier cards are like half the price. Uh, you, you remember Richarlison last year was like 40,000 coins. Like right now, he's like 2,000 coins or less, right? A lot of these cards are a lot cheaper to build in teams. And I think people are going to be able to upgrade to them sooner than ever. So with the supply dwindling, that makes you think that with coins still being out there, people still getting coins from coin boosts, from, you know, playing different rewards that we had squad battle rewards yesterday of course we had division rivals rewards later on this week people that are running drafts people that are you know uh opening the hybrid league of nations the advanced sbc still that are newer to the game getting coins is still going to be something a lot of people are working on and, and building that coin balance and they're going to be able to upgrade their teams faster than ever with how cheap some of these player prices are so i do think that you will see some of these cards start to rise up in price but let's just talk about some of the market movements as well right now when i'm recording this it is like very early morning uh eu uk time and it is late night na late night na like 3 to 5 a.m uk time has been a very very good spot to actually get into daily flips for a lot of these cards and, and that's what i want to continue to talking about as well is how you can watch these cards fluctuate on the daily because there's daily like hours where these cards will drop and when they will rise it started to become a trend in all honesty take a look at antoine griezmann this is just this is just showing us the trend even more incredibly right here of course antoine griezmann only one day in packs from yesterday on sunday his car was down if we take a look at footbin this 85 griezmann wants to watch is now up to 170,000 coins on the PlayStation, I believe I saw his price at 132K, literally about mm, three, four hours ago, which was about, uh, I believe, 4 a.m. UK time, somewhere right around there. Maybe it was about 1 a.m. UK time. Yeah, 1 a.m. UK time, 132,000 coins. This graph shows it, and he has risen up since then. That is kind of like the low time, some of the late night UK, and even, even now, late night NA as well, you'll see some of these cards that will rise up into the daytime even guys like holland if we take a look at his graph i think it was from saturday he went down in the late night to 60k bounced back up to 66,000 coins went down to 60k during the day later that night went down to 55 kind of went back up to 58 then we had some big promo packs on sunday which dropped him even further but he was like 47k just a couple hours ago 47k about three hours ago now he's back up to 50,000 coins maybe gonna rise even a little bit further into the the morning this morning on monday so that's kind of the trend that you can find with a lot of these cards is that they kind of peak like in in the middle of the evening to the late evening uk then they just sort of drop off overnight for the next two to three to four hours people start catching on they buy them up and then they rise into the day so that's one of like the daily trends that you can watch with these cards honestly if you're trading on the game right now with those fluctuation trends the best cards to do that with are actually icons and heroes because icons and heroes have one thing that a lot of these other gold cards and even informs don't have and that is rarity right it is rarity and that is what a lot of these icons have and the heroes have that keep them bouncing around in price a decent amount. So you take a look at some icon graphs, Cafu at 829,000 coins. That seems pretty low to me because he was over 900 for a predominant portion of the day yesterday. Uh, so like if 829 for this Cafu, I have not been trading that much this weekend. It's been a very, very busy one. But if I take a look at this Cafu 90, if I saw like an 800K for this, like, uh, okay, 829, I'm going to keep that on my watch list because this is still a brand new icon, pretty hyped up. You see an 880 listed here overnight. If I could find myself like an 800 flat, I would have no problem snagging a card like that on a low nighttime fluctuation. Now, talking about Team of the Week and Hero cards as well, specifically Heroes, a lot of these cards fluctuate in price. Now, I've been trading with Ole actually a lot uh, on on. Saturday, I bought three Olays for 300,000 coins, like 298 to 300. I sold them all for about 345 to 350. Uh, right now, Olay is 300,000 coins flat. But if you take a look at some of these graphs for some of these heroes, they are rare, just like icons. And they're also, of course, very brand new to this game, very hyped. 
Gomez is 245, 239. Like Gomez was 225 earlier, just a couple hours ago. So he's gone from 225 up to about 240, which is a nice fluctuation, a nice rise there. Um, I believe Milito was like 230,000 coins as well. I don't know where he's at right now. So Diego Milito was 230, 240K, and he's up to 270. 270, right? These cards just fluctuate around a lot because they are rare. So if you're looking to trade, these are the types of cards that I would be looking at. Now, you're going to start to see Team of the Week 2 rise up, in my opinion, as well. As we head out of the weekend, as we head out of the supply, I bought two Barellas. I got him for 73,000 coins. He is now 81K. Zakaria was like 37K. He's now 45. Benzema's up 10K a card. Jesus is up like 25K. Felipe Anderson's up a couple thousand coins. I think a lot of investors have gone in on this team of the week too. And just in general, as the supply has started to dwindle, you're seeing them starting to go up. Also, just to prove the point that coins and pe people are upgrading their teams with coins, take a look at team of the week one, right? These cards just continue to go up in price as there's literally zero supply for these cards because they're not in packs anymore. Vinicius, who I bought for 197,000 coins, he is now 250K. Sar is up to 45,000 coins. Tony's 23K. Salah is 545. The team of the week won cards that are very in demand, that are very rare compared to the rest of the market because they did not get supplied with all the promo packs that were open this past weekend. They just continue to keep going up in price so i think that's just kind of the mantra and that's just what's going on with this market now how do we get away and how do we know that there's not going to be any supply coming i mean technically you're not going to know because ea could still drop a pack supply sbc like they dropped these challenges the untradeable pack that was from yesterday a 75 plus rated rare player is not that great of a pack but like the alba to real madrid challenge i would expect to see multiple of these this week for confirmed ones to watch cards like again somebody like maybe they would do a ronaldo to to manchester united or a hakimi to psg um sort of sbc like this that would give you some sort of pack uh, a tradable pack now that's going to be the only thing during this next week in my opinion that's going to influence the market from a supply standpoint because during the week that's kind of the only way that we get supply other than rewards because they don't really drop promo packs or at least as big of promo packs as they do on the weekend. So just watch out for SBCs this week. That's like our only other chance for tradable supply um, on the game, in my opinion. Now, ones to watch as well, they have a pretty high pack weight. If you take a look at the, I think it's like 4.6% is what it was out of the mega packs. So these ones to watch cards feel very, very supplied as well, but they also fluctuate around a lot. They get low after games, right? Jack grew this 32,000 coins, which is very down low compared to where he was. Let me look into the promo packs and look at this uh, pack probabilities for sure. 4.6% out of a mega pack, a 35K pack. Now also the reason why we're seeing so much more supply on the higher tier end, like those Hollands, like those Verners and those Lukakus. The reason why we're seeing a lot more supply on those as well is this brand new um, rating guarantees out of these packs, right? The mega packs, you get an 182 plus guaranteed out of 25K packs. You get an 80 plus rated guaranteed and that's new as well. So that's even supplying some of the more higher tier cards because you had that rating guarantee as a part of that. So that is helping out the supply on the market as well and again this supply is going to be very very interesting to kind of deal with because we've never had a market like this before it was unparalleled and unprecedented the amount of supply that we saw in the first couple of weeks first couple of weeks of fifa and especially this last weekend almost unprecedented to see that amount of supply but it's making all these prices lower and making cards way more attainable than they ever have been, which has, again, lost some people some coins. If you have lost coins, I mean, I, I wouldn't take it like it's the end of the world because it's the beginning of the new game. We're getting used to a brand new market that has changed so much from last year. So maybe this is your little pep talk that if you have lost some coins, which I'm right there with you, don't let that cloud your mindset that you, you don't stay motivated or don't want to keep trading and think that all hope is lost because it's not, right? We are still very early on in this game. Learning this market is still new to most people and we're getting our minds wrapped around it and we're getting used to it and all of this new supply. So it's kind of a learning curve for all of us, to be honest, because I didn't expect anything like this. I thought that with preview packs, they were going to make the pack weight lower 
um, because of you know putting more packs and having everybody being able to open a free pack basically every day. And especially as they add more preview packs in, what that does to this market. But instead, the, the pack weight's actually gone up and they've gone the route of just supplying the market like crazy and trying to make prices cheap, which they have definitely achieved. Now, speaking of ones to watches, I do believe we have some midweek games for a uh, international break. So there's still going to be a team of the week. Of course, international break team of the weeks, they don't have dynamic images, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I think a lot of people are hesitant to buy ones to watches during uh, midweek games, especially on international break. But that could potentially mean that you might find some cards that don't rise in price before their game if they score a goal or two have a good performance potential team of the week i would keep an eye on these ones to watch is because they bounce around in price just like the regular part of the market does as well leon bailey was 42k just a little bit ago he's now 48 jack Grealish, of course manchester city played yesterday they they drew liverpool absolutely incredible game by the way salah is goaded the man's incredible. But look what happens here, right? He gets supplied and post-game drop-off combined, right? People selling that bought the card before and the card price dropping from supply down to 30,000 coins, 29,000 coins. It looks like where it stopped. He did go back up to 33 where he kind of is right now. So these ones to watch cards are going to fluctuate too. I've seen Varane and Ronaldo actually move a ton. 633k for Varane. If you take a look at his price on Saturday, he was between like 600,000 coins to 694. There was a little bit of supply written in there as well. 600 again, back to 646. This guy has some pretty, pretty big fluctuations. So, you know, if you can catch a Varane close to 600K, these guys are probably not going to get supplied that much. I don't know when, okay, France plays Belgium, UEFA Nations League finals on Thursday. So I don't know if there's any games like on Tuesday. Doesn't look like it. Monday games, I doubt there's any ones to watch is involved. So it might just be Wednesday, Thursday, and into the weekend where we start to see some of these cards move around for ones to watch. But just keep an eye on those because if a card does have a good game, there's less eyes on ones to watch cards for over international break, in my opinion, uh, because people kind of forget and they think that it might not matter, but it still does because they can get a team of the week from that international break. So again, if you're trading on the market right now, I know it seems kind of crazy. I know it seems kind of wild. Your lower tier cards, I would still be a little bit, I guess, not worried about, but I would be very uh, aware. I would be very aware of cards like this Lacroix because I don't know. I mean, people are still going to run this card in their teams for a while, but I think that some people might start to upgrade to other items, other higher rated items with more defense, more physicality. And as we still figure out what the meta is in this game as well, is it pacey center backs or is it more of just center backs with very high defense and very high physicality? Whereas a card like this Lacroix, you know, you might be switching to a Prem team and upgrading your team to a Varane or a Van Dyke who has way less pace than Lacroix, but way more physicality and way more defense. So that's part of figuring out this market as well is just knowing what cards are people wanting to go after because what is meta and what is very popular and what people are going after in terms of gameplay reasons. But again, if you're trading this week, watch for the nightly fluctuations of cards that get low during the late night. So like uh, early, early morning UK or EU hours and also late like midnight NA time. That's North America, midnight NA. A lot of cards start to drop down in that time frame. Then they rise up a bit into the morning. But if you see 10 to 15% drops in a short two to three hour span, buy in, right? Have a, take a little bit of a risk, buy in on some of those cards, and hopefully they will rebound back up because a lot of times they have. And that's just been a fluctuation that we've been seeing so much this year so far is the short drop offs, then a quick bounce. So keep an eye on a lot of that stuff. I'm going to get back into trading this week and we're going to be making some more coins. I want to double that coin balance by the end of the week with a million coins. You can be pretty dangerous. So I want to get that to 2 million as fast as I possibly can. Now we need some price range updates as well on these heroes because like half of them are extinct. Di Natale, Keen, Ginola. I know a lot of you guys are trying to snipe these. If you are wondering whether you should or should not snipe any of these hero cards, I think, I think you should. I think you really should because they are going to be pretty rare. I do not see them pop up very much. So when whenever EA updates these price ranges, and since, since they're still very new cards, if you can snipe some of these and then be available when the price range update does happen, 
I do think that that will mean some big profit because people really want to try those cards out. That's why they're extinct, and that's why you can't find them on the market because EA has undervalued those cards in this game. So icons, heroes, gold cards, and if you have a team and you, you feel like you're losing some coins, again, have a little bit of patience, I think, too, because some of these cards, like we talked about, some of those golds, like a Bruno, like a Rashford, like a KDB, uh, some of these higher tier players, I really do think you're going to start to see them rise up throughout this week. We knew that it wasn't going to be a big rise this weekend. Now, some cards did go lower again, of course, but there's a lot of overinvestment and a lot of, you know, selling from the supply people, people who invested selling cards and dropping the prices even more. But I think you won't have as much of that during this week. And with less supply, I see a lot of these cards moving up in price throughout this week. Now, of course, we'll have to see what sort of content EA does release, how many more ones to watch player SBCs, if any more that they do, and what kind of, I guess, tradable pack supply SBCs that we could see as well. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.